Okay, in this example, we're going to find the domain of the function x divided by x squared minus 10x minus 24. So the only restrictions, the only values of x that we'll have to omit will be those values of x that make the denominator equal to 0. So I'm going to find those values. So I'm going to take the denominator, x squared minus 10x minus 24, and set that equal to 0. And to solve this, we've got a quadratic equation. I'm going to try to factor. So in this case, again, we want two numbers that multiply to negative 24, but add up to negative 10. So let's see, uh, let's see if, any, if we can find any that work. Um, I think some combination of 2 and 12, right, that's going to multiply to 24. And I think, let's see, if we make the, the 12 negative and the 2 positive, those two numbers will multiply to negative 24, but add up to negative 10. So that's a correct factorization. And then we just take each factor, set it equal to 0, and solve. So from the first factor, we'll get that x equals negative 2 is a solution to our quadratic. And then we'll get x minus 12 also equals 0. Well, we can add 12 to both sides. So the domain. It'll be all values of x such that x does not equal negative 2, and also x does not equal positive 12. And you could also certainly write this using interval notation, um, but however you prefer to write it.